I'm trying to find this greenway that I had come to a couple of years ago. I'm actually in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'd come through here a couple of years ago. I stopped at some random greenway. I looked it up on like a all trails app and uh, I'd fished it. And I remember at the end of the trail, like, like after I'd fished a couple of hours, I found this big deep hole and I was starting to catch a lot of bass. There was a lot of uh, large mouth in it. I didn't mark the spot. I can't remember. I think I'm at the same trail. I'm gonna grab some lures. I'm kinda gonna go for bass. I may go for some panfish. But I remember I struggled for a while, then I found some holes that were just, oh, that were just loaded with fish. So uh, I'm just, I'm traveling through. I gotta meet a guy tomorrow. So I'm gonna stop here and just fish for a little while. All right, man, there's some little deep spots right there. I got a little Z-Man. 2.75 inch lure. Starting out with this little bass lure. It's like, a, well, smaller fish can get it too. This is a Dobbins light rod, even though it's, I don't know, I'm gonna have to get a different rod. <laughs> it's confusing. Oh boy. Wow. Oh, I about broke my hand. Oh man. Yeah, that hurt. That's a way to start the day. I get you woke up. Just slid right down that hill. Braced myself with my hand, but I think I'm fine. I'm not sure if I'm further downstream than before. There's some like long, big stretches. I need to find some more concentrated deep holes, I think. But these might work also. Oh, this is cool. All right, let's get down here and try not to fall. It's like sandy, dry dirt. I don't know what this bank is but this looks like a good spot to catch some fish oh yeah here we go this is it this is the fishing hole right here got a big kind of a deep deep pool got current narrows then deep pool this is where fish eat if it's deep enough right here it may be real shallow but i still think there's gonna be something here Oh, look at that. That's a shad. That's a shad in here. That's something, uh, something was eaten, they clawed it and got it out of here. Um, if that thing is in here, then there could be like any size bass, I would think. We got shad like that size. Here's down a little further back. If I find a little bit deeper hole, I know there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some bass in it. I just, I can, I can tell. Oh, like that. There's one. He's a little further back. He's a small fish and it is a large mouth. That's what we're looking for. I don't think there's small mouth in this stream. This is a, in, like I said, in Charlotte, North Carolina, a little the southern part. And uh, towards the east, east and southern. So I don't think there's going to be small mouth through here, but I know that the bass get big in this area fish number one i think we're gonna get some today yeah what is that there's another fish and it's a red breast yep not a giant one, but he got it in his mouth. Okay, number two, red breast. Man, should I walk in the water, go ahead and get these shoes wet so I can cover this bank? Looks like the right thing to do. Sometimes you just gotta do the right thing. Oh, that's my only decent pair of shoes I have. Oh, that's, a, that's a nice little deep hole. I, fish through here only got sunfish bites really thought there'd be a one good one bass sitting there so this is what we got one 30 seconds ounce jig head on a great multi-species lure a pile diver there we go, there we go. Okay, didn't take too long to get me something. And yep, red breast. I figure it's all gonna be red breast in here for the most part. And they 
They are really active today. Yeah. Now I get all those tugs. I was getting tug, 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 tug. Now it's like tug, hook. And another red breast. Goodness, there's so many. I think if I'd have brought my smaller rod with smaller hooks, I'd done caught about a hundred red breast. Which I just didn't want to didn't want to go the small route. I wanted to go the medium medium sized fish creek fish fishing. I want to catch a few sunfish, but I also want to really try to find a few of those good bass that that I thought lived in here. They did last time I fished it. And a red breast. Oh, is that a bass? Is that a bass? It is a little one. I really thought we'd be catching like 12 and 13s today. I wonder what they're doing. So I've seen some little bass, some tiny ones, and this is the second one we caught. You know they're in here. Oh, look at the little largemouth. <laughs> well, these guys look healthy. They don't look like they're skinny or scrawny or anything. Just can't understand why I haven't got one bigger. There's plenty of water in here. And like I said, this is a, this here's a really good deep hole. There's a lot of bait fish swimming down right there. I'm getting lots of bites. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Redbreast still getting caught. Got a little uh, Z-Man crawl on there. Trying to pull out. I'm trying to find. Got to find those bass. I'm uh, I'm already in now. He's like eight, ten inches long. He was just sitting over here in the flat, uh, flat calm area. Little uh, channel cat, probably or bullhead. Maybe a bullhead, but he's got a big scar taken on. Somebody's tried to eat him. He's trying to hide in the rocks. All right, leave him alone. Oh, oh yes, this is it. This is it. What do we got? Oh. Hold on, hold on. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh yeah. He's in the current. Makes him feel way bigger. Oh, he's in the rocks. Yes! That's the fish. Man, I didn't know if I was gonna come across any. Okay, that's a solid fish. That's a, probably a 13 inch largemouth. But look how thick his body is. He's got a really wide body, really thick, healthy. This is what I caught whenever it was here a couple years ago. I'd seen these and I caught a few and I've fished for two hours today without getting a single one. Maybe things are about to change around because it's one of those things, I just know they're there. So I kept on wading down the creek. It ain't like I went far, I probably only went a mile. But at some point I knew there'd be some thick ones. That's a good creek fish. Yes, sir. This is two hours in a fishing at a creek that I thought I was just gonna show up and just thought it was gonna be handed to me. I thought I was just gonna show up, start catching fish. After two hours, I caught so many fish to be ready to go. Well, it took two hours to get one solid bass. I knew that the bass were in here and that was one of the goals I wanted to catch. So there's one. I think maybe this is gonna be where they're gonna go through or that may be the only one. So I'm gonna spend at least another hour and try to figure this thing out.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That dude thumped it. He was at the back. This pool here has got some fish in it. Oh, man. That's a good fish. I'm glad I brought this rod. See, this rod's a little stiffer. I had no trouble setting a hook on this rod, on this fish. And I think he's a solid fish. All right, get up here. Oh yeah, that's a good bass. These guys are thick. I really don't know why I didn't see any. I didn't catch any. Just a little ways upstream. Maybe the holes just aren't deep and big enough to support them. Maybe they're moving around. It's getting fall time of the year. He's got a scar on him. But these guys are solid. Look how thick they are. When they thump, they just, you know, it's 12, 13 inches at least and just really fat. Get back in there. Dude, is that a bass? Oh my goodness. What did I hook into? I was waiting and I just kind of let my lure just kind of sit, barely drug it. Why does he feel so strong? Oh man. <laughs> I was just dragging that crawl across back to me. And that's a good fish. He's not even big as the other ones, but guy, he he was fighting like just digging. Dude, that's the third, I ain't got a picture of these fish. That's the third one about this size in about 15 minutes. Yep, makes a difference where it hole you're in. This is the same hole. Way up there about 100 yards is where I caught the first one. Caught the second one halfway through. Caught the third one right here, kind of towards the back of it. Makes a difference, dude, there's fish. They weren't up in those other areas, I don't think. And it has gotten warmer out. But I think mainly it's just the hole, the big, bigger hole for them. Oh, a uh, little one. Oh, there's a bass right in front of me. I don't think he knows um, what I am. It's a little bass. Oh, he just ate it. <laughs> Dude, there we go, three. That was like right after that. I got the other one right there. Then all of a sudden it's like, hey, let's go catch some fish. It's like, boom, turn it on. Oh, I thought I had something on and that was weird. I must have jerked out his mouth and he came back for it. all kinds of them now this is the bass bass area got two fish in like two minutes Dude, I can feel it. it's a big difference when them bass grab a hold of it. This ain't even a big one, but he is fighting like it. It's a big difference when them bass grab it, and then when I'm getting pecked from little fish. Them grass bass grab, they're holding onto it. They're just grabbing it and holding onto it. Even that little guy's thick. Uh, there's a little bit. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of little bitty bass chasing my lure. They're all sitting here at the back of the pool waiting anything to filter down through. There's like three of them and some little bluegill. Here we go. Waiting for them to really grab a hold of it. Man, they guys fight hard. They're beefed up. They're just strong fish. Nice. 
even this guy here maybe 12 inches but 11 12 inches but solid what another red breast that's where the bass should be on that rock right there What is that? Oh, it is a bass. I think I was getting a bite from something else and a bass came and slammed it. When the bass have bitten, they've been solid. I had like a couple pecks, had a peck peck, and then, boom, something was on it. <laughs> what? Is that a red breast? Came up and hit that thing. Nice, nicer one. Is that another sunfish? <laughs> I thought there was a lot of red breasts around where I live. There's like, this is the main fish for sure in this stream. Oh, what do I got here? I got something of every time I just let the I feel like more I let my lure sit, the longer I let it sit. That's when I've gotten bites. Like that last one that I met that came off and this one, both of them I let it sit on the bottom for a little bit. So maybe they're just sitting on the bottom, not wanting to do too much right now. Wow, they are down there. They're in these deep holes, but they're at the bottom. And they look looks like they're not coming up to hit something. They have to have something coming down to them. What? There's how many fish are down in there? These fish are down in there. That's weird. How many times, how many, how many have I missed today? This looks like the one I lost. There could have been another one in there. Slow, man. I think I, I tried to go slow. I think I still went a little too fast, probably for some of them. That's not a bad fish right there, but yeah. So these right here have come off the bottom, just really working it slow. All right, one more try, we'll move on. Oh, there's one. That was a fish in the spot where he should be. That was a little, I could see a little deep hole, little channel right there. And he was hit it as soon as it hit the water. Alrighty, what time is it? Oh, 12.51. And I got some text scam, online banking activity. Oh man, these are the creeks that that I love going to, but they're so hard to leave. I've been out here for quite a while now, walking and enjoying it, and it looks better every time I look downstream, it always looks better. Like you just keep, he's like, what's down there? What's down there? What's down there? What? Maybe it's a bigger hole. Maybe it's, maybe it's not, but there's, the whole creek's been beautiful. It got some great, I still feel like I should have caught a lot more fish, but end up catching quite a bit of fish. And um, I don't know if I really figured anything out, but it was a little bit weird of a day fishing. I know those fish are in here. I didn't catch a ton of bass. Like I thought I was just gonna wear them out, but I did catch a bunch of bass. Tons of red breasts. They were hooking themselves. So, all right, I'm gonna head back. So I've been walking down. I don't even know how far I've gone, but the, there's a greenway trail right over there. I've said it before, a good creek leaves you satisfied and wanting more. And that's exactly what this one did. Two years ago when I fished it, same thing happened. I had fished it, caught a bunch of fish, wanted to explore more. Came back this time, fished it, caught a bunch of fish, want to explore more. Um, that's, that's, that's always a good one. That's, that's kind of one you mark 
and you're like, I got to keep going to new spots on this and keep fishing, even fishing old spots. Like, I want to know what I was in there and just keep on catching fish. Can't say I figured out the pattern today. It was kind of scattered. Um, I think, I don't know if the bite, I got more bites through a couple holes. I think it was mainly the holes that I was at. And also the fish weren't super aggressive like the bass weren't. The bass weren't super aggressive. Red breast were. They were, <laughs> they were biting every time I threw it in. I was getting little tugs. And, um, but the, the bass that I feel like I threw it in front of, like they would hit it. Or if I left it in front of them long enough, they're picking up and they're holding on to it. So that was a cool time. Ah, man, I love exploring. I'm on a little North Carolina trip and I'm may go. It's like uh, what one o'clock now, go get some lunch. I may go to somewhere else, try to find something new now. Now let's go somewhere that I've never been. So maybe I'll make a video out of it. Maybe I'll just go somewhere and find out that I don't catch anything there, but just always out there exploring. Thanks for watching.